How you doing guys? Um, David Brown, 8080. Um, three cylinder little tractor. Lovely little tractor actually. These tractors have a um, lot of potential. Um, this is slightly unusual from the most other um, 8080s as she has the three gear levers. You have one, two, three here in reverse. You have high and low and you have a crawler box. Um, now the crawler box they said was fitted for mostly working rotivators and stuff where you needed um, that bit slower speed and this tractor came out of a place out of a garden center and they had the 28 inch rear wheels on the back of it of course to, to reduce the speed by that little much as well and of course this is not the original cab this is a, a cab off a Zetter tractor of course David Brown themselves started off in going away way back in the, the 40s 50s um, maybe even before that and they started off making gearboxes they actually started off even before that I think I'm not too sure of the date making timber timber gears that's what they started off with and um, Harry Ferguson of course invented as what we all know now the, the Ferguson tractor the Ferguson black and so on and that their fort but uh, David Brown of course made the first um, tractors for Harry Ferguson he made the Ferguson Brown not too sure of the numbers but the numbers were very small um, then of course they had a falling out and Harry Ferguson went on to Henry Ford and you had the Ford 18 and the 9 ends and so on you had the Ford Ferguson sorry before the 8 ends and then you had the Ford Ferguson's and then of course Harry Ferguson joined up with um, with Massey Harris a Canadian company which the name Massey Ferguson came from but back to our David Brown this is a little three cylinder model um, there is this tractor is slow enough to start there is a problem with the with the rings in the tractor it needs a, a bit of work um, to get it right but she's a nice tractor um, here inside in the cab itself you have here you have this is your is it kind of a normal to the unit for working your different uh, systems you can work your lifts you can work your tipping trailer and you could also have a, a loader for external services on it over here you have your um, for working your lifts there's different selectors down there you have your clutch pedal your brake pedal your hand throttle um, you know these these are a fantastic tractor and one thing I really really love about David Brown's I actually love the sound of their engine so um, we'll um, get this um, a start up of course to get it to start I must use some of this stuff it's a kind of easy start um, you write most hardware places or most um, motor factors or most car parts stores um, it's really and truly it's ethanol it's 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 serious stuff um it's very highly flammable so don't leave it around where kids can get at it definitely not but what i do with this look just one squirt in here i'll give it two actually just for good measure and um it's just it's, it's just alcohol now of course they have brown also the stopper is out most of the tractors the stoppers in but the day of brown it's out make sure it's out of gear <laughs> There she goes. Um, she would not start without that stuff. I can guarantee you that. I can guarantee you that. Let's go for um, a small drive around the yard. Of course, one thing with all these two-wheel drive tractors, there's a, there's a fantastic lock in them. And like I said, one thing I really love with David Brown is I love the sound of their engine. Just listen to that for a, a sweet sound. All David Browns are recognizable by that sound. A lot of these tractors would have been very highly abused and not looked after. So this would have been a real workhorse. There would be no such thing as servicing a tractor back in the 60s and 70s. Like, listen to that sound again. Like a model like this, you'll probably buy this tractor for maybe 1500 euros, there, thereabouts. You know, everything works, the brakes work in it. Um, it's a, if, if for a restoration project, it's probably um, a very good, a very good base to start with. 
like I said, for a restoration project, it's probably a very good base to start with. Like, there's no oil leaks. It does start. Okay, it needs a proper bonnet and proper mud guards in the back of it, but other than that, you the brakes and all work. It's probably a good tractor to you probably buy it for somewhere in the region of 15, 12, 14, 1500 euros, there, thereabouts.